I'm tying the copper john today in red. I use red, green, and copper. It's a staple for me um, in Maine. Wherever I'm fishing for trout, even uh, Steelhead, New York, I'll cover the hook shank with the thread. And I, I'll go just down around the bend a little bit. I tie mine with rubber legs. What I do is I take the rubber, I'll fold it away from myself. And as I take and wind away from myself, I will cinch it down on the top of the hook shank. I'll do a couple wraps. Then I'll fold the other one back to make a V. And what I'll do is just try to catch the edge of that rubber and do a couple wraps. And it makes a nice fork tail. And then I will cover the hook with the red copper, red wire. This is in a medium. I take the tip and I put it inside the bead. And I will loosely wrap down the hook shank, keeping the wire on this side of the hook shank. And I'll wind right back up to the fork tail. And right there, I will do a couple tight wraps. And then wind the thread all the way to the bead. And then I will wind forward right beside itself. All the way to the bead. I'll just leave a small space up there. By doing it this way, your thorax will be a little bit bigger than your body, giving it a small taper. Just trim off that excess. I'll fold it over. And then I'll take my thread and I'm going to wind it right down the wire, roughly where the hook point is. And then right there, I'm going to tie in my flash. The tip will be right by the bead. I'll just do a couple wraps, wind forward to secure it, and then I'm going to come right back to the hook point. And then right there, I will tie in my thin skin in black. Do the same thing as I did with the flash. I'm going to go right back to where the hook point is. And then I'm going to take three or four strands of peacock. I'll just cut off the, the end. Do the same thing. I'm going to lay it so it's right up to the, the bead. Secure it in, wrap forward. And this time I'm going to leave my thread at the bead. Then I'm going to twist my peacock and just wind it to the bead. And then I will do two to three wraps to secure it. I will trim off the excess. And then for my legs, I'm doing the rubber again. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it away from myself on the, for the outside uh, legs and just slide it up. And it's already secured couple wraps right behind the bead you can move it when you wrap make sure you wrap in the same spot then my next leg again I'm gonna fold it away from myself but I'm gonna pull the thread out towards me pull down with my legs and it keep on pulling towards myself as I wind right behind the bead and then again wind two or three times in the exact same spot and you can just move these legs around to get them where you want them then I'm going to pull the thin skin forward I'm going to wrap right behind the bead in between the legs pull that a little bit tight again two to three wraps with this I'll pull a little bit tight 
and then cut it. Then I will pull my flash over again, tie it in, same spot, right between the, you can tie it right in between the legs. Your legs aren't going to be perfect. Mine never are. Insects aren't perfect. Sometimes they'll be a perfect V, other times they'll fold back a little bit. Two or three wraps to secure the flash. Then I'll trim that off as close as I can. I can trim up my legs. Get in there. Trim up my tail. Then I'll just tie a knot right in behind the bead. And then I'll take my loon clear finish thin and I'll just coat the top of that, the bead, all the way down to the wire. Then I'll hit that with my loon, loon light. And there you go, fly is ready to fish.